low-cost imaging terminal seeker, LSIS, sponsored by the Office of Naval Research, ONR, will give U.S. Navy ships an upper hand when faced with multiple threats from fast attack craft. Lieutenant Colonel Raymond Schreiner recently test-fired the 2.75-inch modified rocket and saw firsthand the potential of LSIS. Putting it on a helicopter uh, gives, gives us the capability to take the fight a little further away from, from the boat so we can engage them before they get close to the ship. LSITS equips the unguided 2.75-inch rocket with a low-cost imaging infrared guidance solution, which will rapidly and accurately strike one and eventually multiple intended targets. ONR's program officer Ken Hickey spoke about cost savings with the LSITS approach. What we've taken is a, a proven weapon system that's actually cheap to, to uh, build and modified it by putting a, a advanced seeker and advanced control system on it. Mike Deitchman is the department head for ONR's Naval Air Warfare and Weapons Department. The low-cost imaging terminals seeker system uh, provides the Navy with a unique capability for basically a fire and forget weapon system. Fire and forget is the term for a type of missile which does not require further guidance after launch. This is an important property for a guided weapon to have, since helicopters like the MH-60 and the AH-1 Cobra that protect fleet ships will have a tactical advantage that did not exist before LSATs. Howard McCauley is the Commander Naval Air Force's Chief Science Advisor. It was a, really a tremendous effort that went into putting together this, this complete system to demonstrate the ability to engage targets with a very short target engagement timeline and with a high probability of kill. The test had an international partner and other government agencies involved as well. There's the international partnership with, with basically the uh, Republic of South Korea. And on the other side, there is the partnerships we've had with uh, multiple agencies within the Department of Defense, specifically the uh, DARPA, who uh, has done a lot of work in the area of uh, optical sensors, infrared seeking types of technologies. The LSITS test team had to take the rocket launcher and modify it to communicate with the helicopter and modify the helicopter's interface so that it could communicate with the launcher and then connect the launcher to the individual rockets. The guidance kit, uh, it, it's a kind of a unique system. It's uh, what's called a, a, a multi-mode guidance. It uses imaging infrared terminal seeker coupled with a mid-course guidance that's inertial. And in May of 2010, LSITS was test fired on the Point Magoo range from an AH-1 Cobra helicopter, scoring a direct hit on a moving maritime target that represented the small boat threat. I was in the back seat, uh, and I was essentially just uh, flying the numbers on the, on the instrumentation package because there was a very specific heading tolerance and, and altitude tolerance and pitch tolerance that we needed to, to achieve to make sure that we had the best you know, chance for success. We had an experimental rocket pod, experimental weapon system, experimental fire control on the aircraft. We were able to do that in a very short period of time, and we hit the target. A lot of behind-the-scenes effort went into the LSITS test. We developed uh, signal processing for the seeker that is unique, probably the most advanced in the world today at, at being able to autonomously acquire a target just from a, an image of the, of the target area using an inertial cue, which is an important piece of that. I don't believe anything like that's been done before in, in a weapon of this, of this class, certainly. I think the one thing we learned from LSITS within, within the program itself is, is to be flexible. The China Lake test team not only built and tested a new switching mechanism that would fire the weapon from the AH-1 Cobra, but also came up with an innovative way to communicate from the helicopter to the rocket. And then the way we powered the, the, the fire control system up was simply by switching the, the searchlight switch on in the cockpit. As always, range safety was a priority. So there were guys on the ground during the test that could see exactly what the activity was on the weapon uh, before it launched. The LSITS program is a wonderful example of how investments in multiple technologies can come together 
and produce a new capability for the Naval Warfighter. LSIT's technology will initially transition to the Medusa Joint Capability Technology Demonstration for further testing and evaluation. We demonstrated the ability to fire one rocket and hit one boat. Medusa will take it a step further and demonstrate the capability to hit multiple boats in a single engagement. All these capabilities, which didn't necessarily focus on a specific product originally, uh, came together as an opportunity for developing what we call an enabling capability for the warfighter. 